Hello Year 9, I'm here to talk to you about the Graphic Design GCSE and the wonderful opportunities it provides you. I often get asked, what is graphic design? It's quite simply put, graphic design is all around us, from packaging covering your food to adverts on TV. The logos and websites you see on a daily basis were most likely designed by a graphic designer. Kate Moross is a graphic designer who has worked on projects for Vogue and Cadbury. Kate Moross describes graphic design as problem solving. This is one key skill which you will gain during your GCSE in graphic design, the ability to problem solve, come up with ideas, be creative and inspired. Neville Brody is an exciting designer who has recently created a rebrand for Channel 4, so you may see the adverts next time you watch TV. Graphic design can be everywhere, remember, so TV, film, and marketing and media. I've added a slide here with three different links which you can go and look at in your spare time. It is what is graphic design, what does a graphic designer do, and the process of graphic design. These videos are really nice because it's artists and designers talking about their work and showing you their practice firsthand. There are a few expectations when you do your GCSE. In year 10, you work on an independent project and in year 11, you work on an externally set exam by the AQA exam board. During your projects, you're expected to create in-depth research into artists and designers. This helps you inspire your ideas. You'll be expected to create sustained experiments with a wide range of materials, techniques and processes, such as hand rendering and digital design. You'll be expected to keep a sketchbook to show all your wonderful ideas and designs and you're also expected to be hardworking, dedicated and motivated. The ability to review and refine your work is really important when you're making work. It helps you strengthen and become more successful in everything that you do. A few examples of sketchbooks are on this slide here and you can see the layout and typical design that a student may create when using a sketchbook. This is an example of typography in unit one in the independent unit in year 10. You'll work on a project which is typically creating an alphabet book. You will work collaboratively with your class to create a, a printed book at the end of this project. Your grades are broken down as follows. Your coursework is worth 60% and the exam is worth 40%. When you do your exam in year 11, you will be expected to sit your exam over a period of 10 hours under exam conditions. During this time, you'll be able to create a final piece and finish off any coursework and get your work ready to be submitted to the exam board. All students must have a sketchbook for each project. Regular homework is set and assessed, and this evidence of further study is an important part of the course and supports the work completed in class. There are lots of different skills that you will gain during this GCSE, as we talked about earlier. So you'll learn how to do your own lettering, you'll learn how to do digital and handmade designs, you'll become, a, you'll become a good problem solver and independent learner. There are lots of different career pathways, as you can see listed here, and there are various routes in order to achieve them after GCSE. You may go on to do an A-level, a B-Tech, and then to a degree, and then an apprenticeship. I've added some information here from the exam board, which we use as AQA if you'd like to take some time and um, familiarise yourself further with the exam board requirements. And finally, we come to the option block. I've shown you here what you can pick alongside your graphic design GCSE, and hopefully this will help you make an informed choice today about the course you can study.